What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This time around, we're doing something a little bit different. We're not working on a Subaru, surprisingly. Instead, we're working on my girl's 2013 Honda Civic. And basically, ever since we moved here, she's been complaining about reversing, uh, specifically at night, and she can't see anything. So I ordered a radio. So this is literally how it showed up. But I got it from AliExpress. I don't remember how much it was, like 300 bucks, something like that. So this is how it showed up. Uh, just all the cabling, all that is in here. And there's no instructions, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. It's a nice radio, it looks nice. It's like an OEM replacement. It's gonna look clean when it's in. But the problem with it is this side came all damaged, as you could see. So that's not very cool. Like you can see the plastic is a little bit warped right there. Don't really love that. So I'm gonna see if I can get a replacement. For some reason, the seller wants to see it installed before he sends a replacement. Don't know why, uh, that's the back of it. I got it from AliExpress and knowing that, he's probably not gonna to wanna to send another one. I don't know why, I just, we'll see. I don't know, it was a fairly cheaper radio. If he doesn't send another one, I'll probably just repaint it and clean it up. But let's go ahead and get this thing started. Okay guys, inside the car, this is what we're looking at. This is the stock unit. Pretty bland, pretty out of date. I'm happy to see it go away. And this is the new one right here. So you can see it's a full replacement. Uh, again, it's unfortunate that it is damaged right there. But if anything, we'll fix it. To remove this, I believe, I looked this up briefly. I believe inside of here, there's a couple of screws, like up top. Yeah, so there's two Phillips. We gotta pull it out. I think there's more Phillips and then there's a couple eight mil bolts and then this thing should just come out. So let me get this removed and we can get to installing this. All right, since I got you chips, you wanna help hold the camera? I guess. <laughs> okay, okay, here. This area right here. Not the, the ASMR of you eating chips. Yeah. I can't even see, man. I was like, how am I supposed to record this? So there's two Phillips on here. Can I even get this with the Prindle? The Prindle's like stopping me, I got it. Now, this should pop out. I think. Watch I break it. Oh my god, please don't break it. Oh yeah, it's coming, I think. There we go. Good point, okay. This comes out. This is disgusting, man. I've never taken that out, so. Why not? And I'm the second owner, FYI, so that's probably not all my cred. It's just gross. Just putting it out there. Two more Phillips are right down here. So one there, and another on the other side. I think there's a couple 8 mils in there. Oh, they're way in there. Let me show them. So they, they are way up in there. If you see right there. Let me just take those out. I'm not even gonna bother. Uh, showing them so be right back Okay, so these eight mils, uh, they're a little difficult to get they are Phillips as well, but good luck getting a Phillips screwdriver up in there uh, Easiest way to remove it is just take a eight mil ratchet Throw it up in there and just kind of feel for it if you try to get in your head in there You're never gonna get it, but now it should just pop out Okay, let me get a pry tool <laughs> I don't want to break it <laughs> Encourage it, just like so. Yeah, you got cocoa in my head now. <laughs> it's stuck in my head too. Mm, coco loco. <laughs> Basically, it's out. There's just some connections back there. Go ahead and pop them out. I'll get that out, and then we will 
see what we got to hook up with the new radio. And the unit is now out. Uh, one connection that was a little bit tricky is this larger one right here. It's the side closest to the passenger. Basically, it's like it has this white little thing right here. Uh, you got to stick something in there like a flathead, push it up, and then this will lift and the entire connection will come out. Uh, everything else is pretty easy. I do know we're going to have to swap this part over to the new head unit and obviously like your climate controls and your hazard and all that. But I want to figure out the wiring for that and make sure I can get that going. Once I get that going, we'll swap everything over. So this can go to the side now. Now I got to figure out this. Well, you look at that. I have the original radio back in, and the reason is the IMID screen, the radio, the keyless entry. I could not lock or unlock the car with the fob. And basically what happened was a fuse blew. It was this 10 amp fuse, this one right there, 29 10A backup. For some reason that fuse blew. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery this time. I didn't do it last time, didn't do it on the STI, I never had an issue. I'm gonna disconnect it this time, try again. Let's see if we can get this head unit actually working. It's actually a good thing we put the original stereo back in because she forgot her post CCD was in there. Just a banger. So I went ahead, put the radio back in. This time with the battery disconnected, I should have known better, I should have just disconnected it, but let's go ahead and try this thing and see if it works. So right now everything's powered off, car still locks, unlocks like before. Start it. Screen's working. Time's blinking. Oh. That's actually a pretty quick startup time. I do have to say. It is, your six of life. Yeah, that's pretty quick. Okay, pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty simple. What do you Did think? Did you record any of the the panic? It's simple? No, well, I explained it. I explained okay. it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and throw the rest of this together. It's really not too difficult to do. Anything that is on the original radio, which is down there, I will remove and then transfer over. And we should be able to just pop this in. Uh, we are missing the mic. I forgot at her house. We might. Do you want to do the rear camera today? If you want to. We have other things to do, so it's not... It's gonna be quick. But. It's not like quick. I'm gonna need like an hour or two. Oh. I don't know. But let's get everything else done, and we'll decide what to do. Is that normal to be black? Um, press the menu button. Okay. Uh, press the I. Sorry. So go back. Press menu. <laughs> basically when you put the climate controls in it lines up right here it's actually hitting like it won't go in all right guys went ahead made the modification so it was like this I cut it off I think it will fit now shouldn't be a problem I managed to get this bezel in it was really fighting me so as you can see it's a little warped up and weird right here so I had to use a heat gun I mean that was warped before when I got the bezel I noticed that 
and this part right here is kind of pushed out so it was warped up but i did heat it up a little too much it got a little crispy managed to get it in i warped this a little bit too but i think we'll be okay i'm gonna try to get a new one just because you know it's all scratched up uh but there's a couple more things i gotta take from the old one which is this trim piece right here and then i gotta take all these little clips around the edge so once i get those off we can go ahead and throw it in all right everything is transferred over this bottom plastic piece it's just three phillips goes right in pretty easily the three white clips around the edges and right there um this one right here i did cut the bottom of it because it was hitting just the plastic right here but it should work fine the rest of them just go in no problem to release them you just kind of pull up one side stick a flathead on the other it pops up and i also have these three top metal clips one two and three all in easiest way is to lift this kind of felt right here get a flathead right in under just kind of pull it up and push also I have the GPS right here connected. It just screws right in right there. It says GPS. To mount the GPS, there's a little metal like mount up here. I'm gonna stuff it up top of there and see if we get reception just because it'd be going through plastic and there's a straight shot through the, the window. I did it on my Impreza, didn't have an issue. GPS always worked and I don't really like seeing these devices out of the car, like everything looking OEM. So I'm gonna try that out, see if it works. If it doesn't, then we'll stick it on top of the dash. Um, yeah camera we'll get to another day we'll see maybe next weekend or something the gps i just zip tied up on top of this metal bracket i zip tied it because i might move it if it doesn't work we're also not using a lot of these cables just because we don't have an aftermarket sound system but there is camera in somewhere there's a sub it's this cam vn it's probably this but we're not getting that today so we'll just go ahead and plug everything in after cutting up Pretty much all in there as you could see and i trimmed the top corner it finally gets in there but she's in there um i did nick it a little bit right there mm -hmm. on the dash just right here so when we go to the scrapyard i'll keep an eye out for this car and see if you can find a new replacement sorry <laughs> um i'll replace it the couple of eight mils that we did use before we're no longer going to use just because there's nothing to support it down there but the rest of the screws we'll go back in place so two down here just one two and then that little trim piece with the uh, heated seats will go back and the re remaining two screws will be used Jeez. the wipers are not all i like <laughs> there you go that's really quick pretty good peel action oh your big hands are clean. oh yeah it's kind of fresh Epimax. Android. It's a nice screen. This is what I want in the STI. And there we go. We got everything working. I don't think the antenna for the Wi-Fi and the 4G actually does anything with the Bluetooth. We ended up figuring out the Bluetooth. But it works. Everything's pretty good. Uh, if you go back home out of CarPlay, it's all pretty, it's all pretty quick, as you can see. There's not much of a delay. And then if we go back to... T-Link 5, that's your uh, Apple CarPlay. You can also do Android Auto. Uh, you can either use the USB or Bluetooth. We're using Bluetooth right now to use it. I think it's pretty nifty. All your apps in there are quick and easy to access. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to wrap it up. It's going to get dark soon, but I am planning on doing the reverse camera, and we also have to do the mic still. Um, also, the GPS where I put the little GPS module underneath the dash it works flawlessly it shows the right direction of the car excellent no problem I don't like seeing that stuff exposed the mic we might end up just putting it above the steering wheel just like right here it's typical of what people do the camera I'll get to it later I'll attach it in the end just right now I'm not doing it so I'll be back when I go to put the camera in all right guys weeks later and I finally have the car all done even though it's still apart but she is soon going to have a reverse camera that she could use all the time. And let me just show you quickly kind of what I did. Uh, there was a weird setting on this that we did have to go through and, and change because the image quality was weird. It was like, I'll show it, I'll simulate it and I'll show you. It was really weird. But I'll just show you quickly how I ran the wiring for the camera. We also did run the mic, but we did remove it just because 
I found there wasn't really much of a difference in sound quality. I guess the head unit is using the mic from the car already, so might as well utilize that while I have an extra thing in the car. So I had installed, removed it, but I'll show you where it connects anyways if you guys do want to use it or for some reason your car did not come with it. Uh, so let me just show you quick, and I can throw this car back together and go outside because I'm frozen. Inside the car, uh, it came with this, I don't know what you call this, video. <laughs> it comes with this old video cam uh, component cable or whatever. Uh, it plugs into right here, just say camera on there. And then mic, where is it? So down with all these cables, there is a mic cable, this black one right here. I did have it in there, didn't really see much of a difference in sound. And then all of down here would be like your subwoofer stuff. And if you have upgraded uh, sound equipment, we're not using it. So I'm not going to worry about it. Everything else is done. I'm going to go ahead, tidy this up, throw it all back in. And I guess we can show you guys it working. I don't remember if I showed it or not. Uh, we'll show you the reverse camera and all that. But basically to run this wire, I just threw it underneath the dash, out and around, down the side. I just tucked it in the paneling. I didn't want to go through and remove all the paneling like I usually would have done. Save me some time. Uh, inside the car, there was one thing I did have to do. Did I hit you with that? No. Oh, I thought I hit you. <laughs> so inside the car, I did have to extend the wiring for the cable. So thanks, Sasha. My impress over there did supply that. <laughs> I got to tuck all this now. I was just testing it, but I'll tuck it all inside the paneling, up and over, and hide it inside. On the rear, there's two cables for the rear camera. There's a yellow one that was for your video, and then this red one, I believe it's just for the light of your reversing light, basically. I literally just tapped it into the reverse light right there, so it was brown and black. I'm assuming brown is positive, so red, black was negative, so that's how I tapped it, and it works. Tidied it all up, and once we throw it in there, you won't even know it's there. Uh, and the camera itself is here. I did cover it in fluid film just to kind of help with corrosion and rust. Did the same thing on the inside with anything else I did notice had some corrosion, so like there was some there. It's not really necessary, but it just kind of helps extend the life of the car. Let me go ahead, throw this all back together, and I'll show you the radio in all its glory. There you go, all back together, nice and clean. You can't even tell there's an extra wire going up there. Well, I mean, I guess you can a little bit, but probably in the summer when it's warmer, I'll clean that up. Uh, this is all back on and a nice clean camera that honestly, you can't really notice. So I'm pretty hyped about that. I want something low key. I don't like having stuff that's very out there in your face. I like it looking like it's meant to be there. Now inside the car, let me show you the camera and an issue we noticed with it. So in the settings, you go to reverse uh where was it right here verse system selection when the car came with it uh it was on ahd 720 so when the car came with it it was on ahd 7 g so when the car came with it it was on ahd 720 uh so this one right here and when i go into reverse yeah it like glitches out very weird um i don't get it but I played with the settings. We ended up doing NTSC, whichever that is. And when I go into reverse, it works good. There's also like this car right here. I don't see the point of it. So I guess we can remove it. Uh, where was it? I think it was that. So I guess if you got the sensors on the back, maybe it works. I really don't know. But now there's no car, which we'll probably just leave because it doesn't look like it does anything. About going through the head unit with you guys, I think I already did it. She told me I did do it, so I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, but another weird thing about this car is if you have a certain model, there's cameras on the sides of the mirrors. And I think this head unit picks it up, but it's weird because we don't have that. And let me just show you. So if I put my left turn signal on, as you can see my left signal, nothing happens. I put my right signal. It's waiting for a video output. So no video signal. I don't know why, but when I put on the right signal, it does that. If anyone knows why, please let us know. I've been looking in the settings briefly, not crazy, trying to figure that out. Comment down below. I don't think anyone really does this stuff. I think I'm gonna be one of the first, really. Uh, but it's a pretty cool head unit overall. I think so, personally. Uh, we also gotta figure out if we can get the phone controls working. So I know I got these working, these work fine. These ones, we'll have to play around with, see if we can get them to working. I tried briefly again, didn't really get much out of it. This works no problem though. I believe I mentioned it, but the panel or the frame came pretty warped and just scratched up. So I've been in contact with the seller on HaliExpress. 
He's claiming he shipped one. I've checked the tracking multiple times and I, it's not updating. So I have a feeling we're not gonna get a nude bezel. I think he's kind of being scammy about it, but whatever. Is scammy the word? No. I guess he's kind of- Sketchy? I think he's being kind of sketchy or scummy about it. Um, I don't think he's gonna send us a new one. So probably in the future we might paint this. I'm thinking kind of like a gloss black or something like that. Uh, if I notice anything different or weird about it in the future, I will let you guys know. But overall, I think it's a pretty sweet heading on it. So we're going to close it out. If you guys enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And take it easy.